Much like many other games, Mortal Kombat 1 has adopted the seasonal approach when it comes to releasing its content, and if you played the previous installment, Mortal Kombat 11, some of this might be pretty familiar to you. Yet there are still some interesting new pieces of content and ways to unlock gear, skins, and other character customizations. The first season of Mortal Kombat 1 will last 48 days, and while we haven't heard if future seasons will be that long, we can assume it'll be around that length of time. Each season will also feature cinematic cutscenes both when it begins and also when or if you complete it. But first, let's start off with my favorite section of Mortal Kombat, and that is, of course, ranked matches. So as I stated before, this will be familiar to you if you played Mortal Kombat 11, because Combat League is back. As you play, you gain experience points and you rank up the ladder from Combatant, all the way up to Elder God. And as you achieve these ranks, you will earn the seasonal rewards, which is slightly different because in MK11, you had to wait until the end of the season to get the rewards. Now you get them as you level up instantly. And to start off Mortal Kombat 1, we have Season of the Spectre. And as you can see, there is a whole host of unlockables including character skins as you get up towards those higher, more difficult ranks. One thing that's also good to note if you plan on playing Combat League is that it is sets first to three, which is actually really nice. You also cannot change your main fighter during the set. You can only swap your cameo, a bit of a change there from any traditional online fighting games. But now let's move into the shop, which I'm gonna be honest, it took me a few hours to notice it was even there, which is why I wanna talk about it in this video. When you go to the shop from the main menu, you'll see a few different options. The first being seasonal items. As you'll see by the text pop-up, you earn seasonal credits by playing the game and you can spend them here. Now it's a bit different though, because you're not just gonna get a list of seasonal items. It's gonna take you to a character select screen and you'll see here, each character has anywhere from four to nine unique seasonal inspired items to purchase. And those will be skins and gear with some costing as low as 250 credits all the way up to quite a few thousand for certain skins. But it is nice that whatever character you love to play, you can focus on their items only. Then we have the premium item store, which is more traditional take on purchasing items and uses a different in-game currency called Dragon Crystals. And this will be rotating, I believe, daily, so you'll want to check back in with these quite a bit. And finally, we have Invasions, Netherrealm's newest mode to kind of tie in all the seasonal content with a single-player RPG-like board game, taking you through all the different mesas within the Mortal Kombat universe, completing mini games and fights as you try to make your way to the seasonal boss, which I've heard can actually be pretty difficult. If you can conquer the seasonal invading boss, you get the featured skin and other unlockable cosmetics only attainable within the invasion mode. I don't want to give too much away because invasion is actually a lot of fun. There's a ton of little Easter eggs in there. So definitely check it out. Try to beat the seasonal boss. You only have 47 days this season to get that scorpion skin. So quite a few different avenues of unlocking character customization and different ways to play across both online online and single player modes within each season of Mortal Kombat 1. I think this is a great starting point and I'm looking forward to all the sweet themed skins and unlockables that will come with each season. Let me know down below what you guys think. What's your favorite part? Is it Combat League? Is it Invasions? Or was it just a story mode? But a bit of a short one today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.